I have a confession to make. Mozart is not my favorite composer. His work sounds simple, but it's a lie. It's an illusion. It's so difficult to play. And that made him the perfect composer to bomb Sarah's dream of becoming a concert pianist. So I actually have a bachelor's degree in piano performance, and like Sarah, the protagonist in my debut novel, The Girl with 20 Fingers, I used to love playing the romantic composers. So Brahms, Beethoven, Schubert, Schumann. Every young pianist plays tons and tons of Mozart. In fact, I think I played Mozart at my very first piano recital at the age of five. And if you read my book, my first recital was a lot like Sarah's first recital. So what else made Mozart the perfect composer for this book? Well, he had a really strong connection to Munich. So you know he was a Wunderkind, a child prodigy. He was composing works for piano forehands for himself and his sister to play at a very, very young age. And they went on tour with their father. And one of the stops was in Munich, where they played for royalty at the Nymphenburger Schloss, the Nymphenburg Palace, which is very close to where I used to live. And I would go walking and jogging there all the time. And think about Mozart, like kicking up the dust, throwing the rocks, chasing the birds, doing all those things that young boys do, and then going in and like impressing the royalty with his amazing performance. For me, Mozart sort of embodies the impossible pursuit of perfection, which is really a central theme in this novel. So who is your favorite composer? Is it Mozart? Is it someone else? Drop me a note below, let me know, and don't forget to click on that link, order my debut novel, The Girl with 20 Fingers, and I can't wait to share it with you.